We are standing in one of our Living Labs project sites in Wellfleet Harbour and you can see in the distance at the low tide it's exposing our project site where we are restoring Oyster Reef. It's a collaborative project between uh, Wellfleet, town of Wellfleet, a Green Harbors project at UMass Boston and School for the Environment. It started as a master thesis of one of my students in 2006-2007 and it was actually uh, assessing the shellfish um, aquaculture in commercially and recreationally harvested uh, shellfish in uh, Wellwood Harbor and uh, the project actually identified that there is a need for establishment of sanctuaries, shellfish sanctuaries throughout the Wellfleet Harbor so that we can restore not only the uh, population of native oysters but also to improve the quality of the coastal habitats and try to understand the connection between oyster reefs, salt marshes and eelgrass beds as three keystone habitats that used to thrive in Wellfleet Harbor and now they're a little bit degraded and disbalanced uh, in comparison what we used to have here. The water quality in this specific little pocket here at the marina and the pier of the Wellfleet Harbor is a little bit more uh, degraded than the rest. Wellfleet is actually famous for the Wellfleet oysters, so the water quality is uh, wonderful and it actually gives the special taste to oysters. But here, uh, because of like almost like a little appendix of accumulation of the sediment, and also because this energy flow and water flow between the salt marsh that used to be connected with this water was actually closed with a culvert and the roads. So the human structure cut those uh, habitats apart and communication is not existing. So all the organic materials were settling here, creating a muck and a very muddy sediment that were totally unsuitable for oysters to settle. In order to improve the sediment and uh, make it possible for oysters to settle, we start culturing two acre propagation area with shells like clam shells which are very similar structure calcicarbonate as the oyster shells. You can see here attached they have this amazing ability to attach themselves like cement themselves on a hard surface and that's what they love. They love hard surface that is very similar to the structure and quality of their own shells calcicarbonate and you can see here from last year's oysters that settled on a couch which is uh, natural um, clams that we use as a couch to place on a muddy area of our two acre propagation uh, site where oysters could actually find it their home otherwise if you can see here when it's exposed to mud this black muck it's um, almost anoxic sediment where basically the couch sinks into so if young oysters those are called spats that are trying to find suitable surface where they will attach themselves those are from this year spats just maybe a couple weeks old that actually settled on this shell but if they settle in the area that will be exposed to muck they will suffocate and die so you can see how creating such a uh, suitable areas for oysters to settle is very important to start creating natural oyster reefs and here you can see on the shell um, this year a couple year old a uh, couple uh, weeks old uh, oyster spats and a year old oysters from last year and they're attaching on each other because that's what they love it's uh, very important to understand why those a beautiful species are not just like a wonderful food and seafood support for for us for humans they're an amazing and uh, very important keystone species for our coastal habitats to improve not only the water quality but also to support uh, coastal shorelines from erosion from storms to uh, create engineering amazing 3d structures where different species can live